What is up, everyone? We are going live. <laughs> Was that the lamest thing you've ever seen? I thought I'd try to make my intro a little bit more spicy than usual. Say hi, everybody, in the chat. I'll try to pronounce your name, and I will butcher probably about, I don't know, 85% of your names. <laughs> this thing is awesome. The Power Glove. Hello, Matt. Hello, Brahim. Brahim, I don't know. Peter. Titus, what is up? Uh, Jesus, how are you supposed to pronounce that person's name right there? Oh, Osim Grihibi. That's that's my best take, man. And what is up? <sighs> yeah. All right. That's enough of the highs. Yeah. Sweet. I know. I look cool with these, don't I? My eyeballs suck. I don't like the the shape of my eyes. They're real squinty. You know, I just don't like them. So I think I'm gonna start wearing these from now on. But I, yeah, you know, we're dealt the hand that we're given when we're born when it comes to your face, right? Unreal. I wish I could refactor my face. All right. Chen Kang Chu. That's, that's my, that's my best pronunciation. All right. Yeah, by the way, before we, be, we begin, I, I'm so excited uh, for the upcoming series. I've spent a lot of money uh, revamping my studio space. Uh, I'm getting into story writing and I'm creating a story with episodes and stuff. Some of you may have seen it from the YouTube community post. Um, yeah, it's gonna, be, it's gonna be fun. Very fun stuff, I hope at least. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. First of all, what is this? All right, so if you're new to this, is this uh, I call it the negative space. It's a, just a live UI UX uh, design show, essentially. Um, now, usually I'm sitting there just reviewing your work, um, and I'm not really making actual changes to designs. But today, just to get things a little bit different, I yeah, I'm gonna get out the drill, and I'm gonna point it at your design, and I'm going to focus on one thing that could be improved. So if you're you're submitting, um, oh, by the way, how do you submit? Go to the uh, YouTube description, click on the Discord link, join up, um, and then go in over here to the Negative Space Submissions uh, ch channel and then just submit your work. There's already been quite a few, probably won't get to yours. Another thing I'm changing, Super Chats right now, at least for this stream, are only for appreciation. Uh, it won't get you thrust to the very beginning of the queue like usual. So, I uh, what I'm going to do is, I'm trying to like mute this damn iPad. What the hell, something broke off of it. <laughs> Not cool. All right, well anyway, um, let's just go ahead and get started. I, I was There was a point I was trying to make, but my brain's all over the place. Um, let's just get started. All right. The very first one is script. All right. Oh, and by yeah, the point I was trying to make is like if you submit an actual URL, like a, something that's in like HTML and CSS, I'll try to do the fix in the like uh, you know the browser. Um, but if it's like a dribble or something like that, I might do the fix in something like Adobe XD or Figma or something. All right. So this one, I like the font. It looks very familiar. Let's use the what font uh, app. It is Poppins. You can't go wrong with Poppins these days. It's just a freaking nice font. I love it. <laughs> um, I like the separation here. I, the, the typographic visual hierarchy, as it's referred to as, is pretty solid. Wait, what happened? Okay, sorry. One of my, uh, on my browser, uh, on the other monitor, like it just did that thing where it said no internet connection. That would suck if there's no internet connection. Um, I think we're still going well though. Yes, good. Okay, um, let's continue on down here. Boy, this is gonna be a tough one to find something diff you know, to, to improve. Like, what could I improve about this design? I'm trying to find something that I can improve. I guess I don't necessarily have to. Oh, I already see something. It is so freaking small. Oh God, a big one. This is the big one. Now this one I'm not, yeah, you know what? I will because I said this is what we're gonna do. It means a little bit of extra work for me, but we gotta do this. I'm so sorry. 
this is a great design, but you know, it's one of those anti-patterns you can't be doing. Um, what is this? Oh, yeah, let me get a new window out here. We'll just use XD for this. Come on, get over here. I'm trying to drag the window over here and it's just like staying put. It wants to stay on that monitor. It's shy of the audience. All right, what is wrong about this particular design? All right, nothing in terms of the actual UI design itself. This is more of a UX thing. And so the issue here is this hamburger menu. We gotta get rid of that. You don't need that on desktop because it's just not necessary. So if we go back to the original design, um, we click on it, how many links are there? Well, there's one, two, three, four, five. You have so much room to put five links. And even if you had like 50 links, you could still try to designate five to seven at max links for the header. So knowing that this person's already using pop-ins, we just gotta put those here, you know, home, now you guys get the point. I don't think I'm necessarily gonna sit there and just design a whole uh, you know, navigation thing, even though it's kinda simple, but I do wanna try to get through as many as possible. But yeah, just put your home. Obviously, if you're at home, you wanna designate a visual indicator, either like an underline or wrap it in a container of some sort uh, or change the color. There's a lot of different ways to do it. Um, but uh, yeah, you get the point. Put this all up here don't have a hamburger menu unless you have so many other important elements it may make sense to add that as well for like an additional way to access a navigation all right let's delete that next up and by the way that's a fantastic submission i would rate that probably a nine plus um yeah nine plus all right why should i be a police officer i want to know boss coding <laughs> why do you say that all right casper the ghost let's get started I've seen this one before. I know exactly what I'm gonna do to improve this. Now, there's a number of things I would do. First of all, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, too many. Too many links up here, and they're also, they're different in terms of their importance, like a contact uh, against a, a about or skills or uh, code snippets, like the, these, these don't have the same priority. Uh, so you need to prioritize your navigation into primary and possibly a secondary. Um, and you could do that by styling your navs right. You know what, I just came up with a brand new video idea. Um, let me go to uh, my docs. And I'm gonna just, I'm sorry to do this right now, but if I don't save this idea right now, I'll just forget about it. Cause I wanna talk about how to structure a navigation properly. Um, Structuring navigation properly. So I have like this huge, you guys wanna see my, my document of ideas? Let me increase the size here. So like I've collected, and these, these have been going on for, I've been collecting these ideas for like two years now. And most of these I haven't even tackled. Yeah, well I just added that new one down here. <laughs> I don't sketch first. <laughs> I can't remember where, uh, when I put that there. Okay. Uh, all right, consume, enhance, replicate. Uh, $10, that's very gracious of you. Um, Maverick, so even though in the YouTube description it says, and I also mentioned at the beginning of this video, it says Super Chats don't guarantee uh, you know, that I'll review your uh, design for this show. I will make sure at least at the end, depending on where you fall out, to get to yours, okay? I just need to, someone needs to remind me before it ends that I need to do that person's. In fact, I'll put that here, right here, in a little notepad so that I don't forget it. Okay, thank you very much. Um, now, let's, let's see what we're gonna fix about this. Um, one immediate quick fix that I think could help which the whole stick of today's episode is just to, to focus on one thing because many things could be improved about this, not to crap on the design, uh, but they're not huge things. But one thing would be this. I'll do margin. Um, 
uh, let's do see what this looks like there bam right there that is a huge improvement from what this was before it's white space it lacked white space in this main what this is you typically refer to as a hero section which contains your headline a sub headline description and some like a call to action like like down here uh, it's just it was too crammed up so if I refresh you'll see the original now look at this now look how crammed this feels that's the number one thing I would change about this design all right continuing on uh, let's let's just close that um, Hi, hi news dot net hi news dot net okay I'm a little bit slow when it comes to reading I have to sit there and like pronounce things like my eight-year-old daughter um, all right so high tail news delivered right at your inbox all right I'm just kind of getting a feel for what exactly is happening here okay so there's a couple things I want to change um all right, so first is an issue of just, I'd say honestly the biggest issue is down here. Down here is the biggest issue and it has to do with topography. Um, we have an extended, uh, there's too much what I would refer to as uh, leading or line height on these labels, but then it gets real close next to this uh, description underneath them and it's just throwing off the flow. So let me fix, um, these real quick uh, and I think it was gonna make a big improvement so footer title let's do um, line height um, I'm just gonna put in something random just to see where we're at okay so like 1.2 m units that looks good margin bottom will be uh, what's to see 1 m unit that's pretty good uh, maybe 0.8 m units all right um, and then there's some other things I want to change about it look at this footer look how close it is to this information right here so we're going to put margin top of like 5m units get that thing away from here there we go now we have some room to breathe um, let's also reinforce the visual hierarchy between these two elements by making this title also white so because I can tell it's, it's, it's an off white there's a little bit of blue in it so color white there we go we also should do the same thing up here uh, we'll do color white. All right, now things are starting to come together a little bit better. I would also say for these paragraphs, the footer text, um, maybe increase the line height just slightly. Let's just see what happens at 0.9 M units. Uh, no, no, no. Let's do 1.3 M, uh, 1.6 M. That's better. And then maybe margin right, um, we'll do like 1 M units. That way we get a little bit of white space between each one of these elements here. All right, so this is what I changed it to. Now put on your, you know what I can do? Make it a little bit easier for us to see the before and after. We're gonna step into, just real quickly, momentarily, uh, right here. I'm gonna put, this is the after. And I'll put this just right here. And then I'm gonna show you the before while refreshing. Oh, that comes in too slow, by the way. I didn't see that initially. So let's uh, take a look at the before. Where the hell is my Adobe XD? There we go. All right. So I'm just move it over here and then, all right, so before and after. Here's the before. It had some topography issues and kind of a visual hierarchy issue as well. And then here's the improvement. I think we can say that this is definitely an improvement. Let me know what you think uh, between these two. Here's the before, and then here's my quick after where I fixed the topography and also uh, the contrast and separating the text more. All right, let's continue on. This is my daughter's iPad. I use it to control my my uh, my tablet. I mean my 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 cameras, um, and it's just going off right now. Like her friends trying to call her. All right, next one. Woo, that was crazy. All right, I uh, let me check and see what's happening. Two hundred three concurrent viewers. You know what? That's re that's rookie numbers. We need to get this up to four hundred. I must suck. I, we need more viewership. 
Okay, let's start. All right, uh, let's check out that, <laughs> that animation again. I think it's a little bit much, but you know, whatever. Um, one thing is, is an issue here is gonna be I uh, contrast because you have the important type element right here. It's kind of like a subheading. Um, it says my name's Bartek Polak or something. Now, I, granted there is a drop shadow underneath it, but it's not significant enough. So the way I'll uh, improve this is just by taking off this, uh, we'll take color to black and get rid of the text shadow. And there we go. That's a, a big improvement just for the purpose of readability. Because I guarantee you that wouldn't that would not pass. Uh, white on yellow would never pass, you know, the, the WCAG co color contrast uh, guidelines. So that's what it was before. All right. All right, so let's continue on. <laughs> People are trying to make me feel better because I crap on myself. Um, let's close these out. Next one. Well, I'm planning on turning this channel around. I'm telling you with my series coming up. I shouldn't boast about it so much. I should just act like it's gonna suck. Um, that way, in case it really does suck, I won't be so let down. All right, this website is still under development. Thank you for the notification. Um, all right, I'm looking at this. What is the one thing that, ooh, yeah. I, I was looking up here and then I was like, what can we fix about this? Maybe a little bit less white space here. But then I got to this section. I was like, oh yeah, mm -hmm. we're gonna have to fix this. Big problem here. What is the biggest problem about this particular modal? Like, let me just zoom up. What's wrong about this? Let me know in the chat. If you had to get your DeWalt drill out, what would be the one thing you would fix about this thing? Let's see, let's get some um, answers here. Alignment. First answer, alignment is 100% freaking correct. So let me fix that, if I can. Sometimes, depending on how things are structured with HTML and CSS, it's a little bit difficult to, to fix, but um, let's just see if we can. Justify content, I just saw Justify Content Center. Okay, well, align items there. There we go, okay. But we still have issues with the alignment. So for instance, um, like this shouldn't have any, um, let's get rid of that. I'm gonna get rid of the margin. When it comes to defining white space within a card container like this, the white space uh, on the padding inside of the, the, uh, the container, when we're talking about front-end development and CSS, it should come from that parent container. You shouldn't be adding margin around your individual elements in order to define that white space in that, can that container, if that makes sense. So like this one, we're gonna get rid of margin left. Um, there's also some weird margin around. Okay, that, we don't want margin around that. All right, and then finally, we don't want margin around this thing either, so we get rid of that. <laughs> so I know it looks like crap right now, but just wait a second. Give me a second. Padding, one rem unit is what these, this person had before. Um, what's three rem? All right, let's just give it nice, big and bulky. Three rem units um, of good white space all around and everything, and then that way, when you do it this way, everything's consistent uh, on the same path, like in the same vertical line, so to, spe so, to spe so to speak, if I can speak, which I cannot. Margin bottom, um, let's just put two m units. Oh, that's way too much, 0.7 m units. All right, maybe that's okay. Uh, then we're gonna take our email, put a little bit of margin bottom. So like you can put margins on these things, but top and bottom preferably, not left and right, um, unless you're doing something specific. Uh, but in this context, that's what we wanna do. So margin bottom, 0.3 M units, maybe 0.4, 0 0.5 M units, eh, 0.5. We'll just do the other 0.4. We're gonna take as well, oh, and also notice the inconsistent uh, there's a pill shape here, but then we have not a pill shape, uh, but still rounded. That's inconsistent design. It throws off the de the flow of the design. I really don't like big old bulky pill shapes like this uh, for um, for most things. Although you some things are okay, 
But in this context, I think it'd just be best to uh, make these both the same. So we have a border radius of eight pixels on this. Um, let's just change this to an M unit or something, 0.4. Let's just say, yeah, 0.4 M units. I'll cop, let's see, yeah, 0.4 M. Let's go up here to this. We'll put border radius 0.4 M units. We will also margin bottom it. I still don't like this uh, quite a bit. I uh, now another thing is the width of this. Where is there a width? There we go. Take off that max width. Um, I think we do need to put like a, a margin top here for a second. All right. So this is just a really quick refactor, even though it took like five minutes. Um, I would probably still change stuff about this. The email could probably be slightly smaller, the font size, just to create a better visual hierarchy between these two pieces of type. Um, but this is a much better uh, design than what was there previously. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so keep in mind what we had here. Actually, let's do that thing again. Um, let's go back to uh, 100%. Let's copy this, and we're gonna go into Adobe XD. We'll just do another one down here, and then we'll go back. I'm gonna refresh so we can see the original. And we'll go back, um, Adobe XD, where are you? Paste that in. All right, but wait, before it goes over here, I hate people who do, well, I don't hate them. Okay, I do hate them. I Who put the after on the left. It's like, no, before and after, left, right. Okay, so this is the before, and then this is our after. Much more consistent. Just easier to scan, too. This is all over, big alignment issues. So that's much better. I still don't like the placement though, because you have a two column over here and then you kind of have just like the centered element. So there's still other work to be done, but just looking at that specific element there, uh, we, we made a big improvement. Oh, I like this little check mark idea. That kind of no lets me know where I've gone. Uh, that's kind of cool. Okay, so um, Mabel, oh, that was it, okay. Haven't gotten around to that one yet. News aggregator website. All righty. Let me read the, uh, your new hair looks pretty good. What's the name of the hairstyle? Um, I'm just gonna call it 80s for now. You just wait till it gets long. I'm going all the way out. Um, it's gonna be ridiculous. I don't know what to think about it, but I'm, I'm doing it. All right, a news aggregator website. Okay, so just looking at this, um, not sure. This looks like the home page over here. All right. So I'm kind of confused about this because it looks like this might be your header navigation, but it doesn't feel like it just because of this, right? Sports, politics, and food. It seems like it's so close that I wanna push this down. I'm gonna take everything and just push it down away from this navigation or this this area up here. Ugh, sorry, up here. If this is the logo, BBBBC, BBBC rather, um, then it it's, it's feels like it's too, it, it, like it's a part of this navigation, assuming that this is an actual logo, like a brand. That's a separate thing. And all, it, this is the same font size. The only thing that's different is it's the font weight. There's no there's no other identifying symbol, which is okay, it could just be a word mark in terms of identity design, but there's also no other color difference. So it makes you feel like this is a part of this navigation and there is no logo. So I would address this by possibly taking this area, this uh, navigation and pushing it over to the right and center it between this element and this element right here, assuming again that this is an actual logo. Um, I'm not gonna bother with refactoring everything here looks pretty good actually I might want to stylize this area 
a little bit better. Now, if I had access to be able to, to update things, I would do it real quickly. But you could underline this because this is same, it's styled pretty much the same. Yeah, this is only two pixels bigger than this text, and that's the only difference. So I would say you need to go, I, what I would do is keep it the same font size as this, but give it like an underline, just a link. People know that, you know, this would, that way it would be easily identifiable as an action, you know, that they can take to click on to learn more. All right, very good. I like the design otherwise, nice and clean um, and solid. Next up, um, we just did that, okay, cool. All right, ponytail next. I'm not sure if ever I'm, a, I'm ever gonna do a ponytail. I might just try to keep it majestic and just keep it long and flowy, uh, especially when I run, because I like running. It's gonna get in my face, it's gonna be disgusting, but I think it'll look cool. Okay, now, next up. Delivering any content with high user experience is my in it innate power. <laughs> See, I told you, I'm like stupid with spelling and reading and stuff. Innate. Innate, innate definition. I, I think that means like internal, it's like something that comes from within. Inborn, natural, okay, I was right, all right. All right, delivering, so I actually kinda like this headline, it's unique, at least it's not like, hi, I'm Spinder Singh and I'm a UX designer or something like that. So, I like this. Now, having said that, huh. So there's nothing else I can click on. Oh wait, I can scroll down, okay. I have to say I'm not a very big fan of this little, um, it, I could tell it's a radial gradient inside of this container right here. I think I would personally get rid of that. Who the man? He's got a foot hooted, man. I love that. Oh, man. Man is right. All right. Let's do this real quick. I'm going to take this section. And we're going to improve that. Am I prepping for a movie? I'm prepping for my role in the upcoming series on this YouTube channel. Um, let's... Where, where the hell am I going? Fuck. All right. We're gonna put that thing right here, and we're gonna duplicate it, and I'm gonna fix this area right here. We have an issue with, um, you could be considered an issue with white space and or alignment. It probably, it, it's a white space issue because it's uneven white space. So what I can do is we're gonna hide all this text. We're going to uh, give it the same background color. Again, I don't like the huge pill shape. I would reduce that to like 0.3 M units or something. Um, and I'm just gonna put in some of this, and we're gonna use a plugin real quick just to get some Lorem Ipsum uh, text going. Let's go over here to the plugin section. Where is Lorem Ipsum? Fill, insert text. We don't wanna bold it, that would be too much. Uh, whenever you have any, like a, a sentence or whatever, or a paragraph, you don't wanna bold everything. Bold only what's important and don't overboard, board, that over bold, <laughs> overboard. All right, uh, let's increase this. All right, and this is the font size it should be. These are th these font sizes are, are quite you know on the bigger side. And so what we want, assuming this is the amount of white space you want to have, which I think is a little bit too intense, I uh, you want it centered. You want things centered from the very left of the text, from the very top so horizontally centered and you know you want even equal consistent white space all around uh, if we look over here look at this this is the original look how little white space is at the top and look at all this over here and all this over here and all this over here it's not aligned well also look up here look how much white space is at the top at the bottom but then on the left it's like double the amount you want to make sure everything is aligned equally um, when it comes to a use case like this, at least. Um, this could probably be a tad bit bigger of font size, but you get the point. All right, next up. 
Is my microphone too loud? I want to make sure I'm not clipping or anything. Um, let's continue on. <laughs> Somebody said my hair has an issue with the visual hierarchy because it's majestic and it takes the eye away from my face. You might be right. I may have to think about that. You know what? I think this could counter it because these freaking sunglasses are pretty cool. That might bring more balance to my face. And plus, it hides my eyes. I don't like my eyeballs. Like I said at the beginning, they're too squinty. Um, now, let's continue on. Um, I can't see shit with these, so I have to take them off. Um, maybe I should just get some fake ones. Are, are there glasses that like will dim, like make it look dark from you, but I can see perfectly crystal clear on the outside? Do those sunglasses exist because I want them? All right. All right, the Tech Hacks bot. The Tech Hacks bot, all right. Amazing bot with purge, say bad words, detect in many, many more commands, I don't know. Then he just starts going into lorem ipsum. <laughs> it's like, I don't feel like typing out actual stuff anymore. Screw this shit, I'm just gonna put lorem ipsum text. All right. Um, Okay, there's an issue right there, bro. I see it. I see it already. And no, it's not the overused, overplayed, you know, 3D vert Virtus Matrix thing in the background. Um, although I would probably get rid of that because it's just been done so much before. Um, let's continue over here. Let's fix this. Oh, and let me tell you, this is Adobe XD I'm working in. Ah, yes. Yes, yes, yes. One second. Oh, I kind of already did that video in the last, that, that idea in the last video. We're gonna put, um, why I have moved from Adobe XD. That's gonna be a video coming up. Even though I'm using it right now, which sounds freaking, you know, I, very, it's a performative contradiction because I'm using it right now. Um, this is why, I'm gonna tell you right now, I'll just do the video in a second. Um, it's this, look at this. If I zoom up, you could hardly tell, the contrast sucks. There's hardly any contrast here. If you select the background canvas in Adobe XD, there should be an area right here on this right, you know, the, uh, the inspector and properties panel where it allows you to change the damn color of this background. Guess what? They don't let you do that. You cannot change this default gray background. Figma allows you to do that. And that's the reason I don't like using Adobe XD that much anymore. Unreal. I, and you know what? I actually brought this up to them on Twitter. And one of the guys, he's a, he's a cool guy. He has a big YouTube channel. Uh, he's like a, an evangelist or whatever for Adobe. He said they, he, he said just, he referred me to a thread on their user voice suggestions page. And this has literally been a requested thing since they came out in beta in 2016, of which I was a participant. People have been asking it forever, but he said they have no plans on like allowing us to do that. What the, you know? All right. Now, this call to action button, like it looks great out. It's like, it, 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 this is the pattern you would use if you pretty much wanted to cancel or, or, you know, make a button not clickable. I know there's a better term for that. So we gotta make this uh, an actual call to action people will see quickly and add and use and wanna click. So what we'll do, I uh, will just redesign it for you real quick. All right, so let's uh, take that, let's do this. Let's, let's get a little bit of a pill shape going on here. Um, Drag these in. And then we'll get our type. Add to server. Center it. Screw it, we'll go with Poppins because it's already there. Bold. Increase that size. Who's Mark Drake? That person has a, a little check mark. They sent me Adobe XD gear for ripping into them on Facebook before. Makes you wonder if the original team and inspiration behind the program is still around. <laughs> That's awesome. 
Can I view profile? They don't give me that option. Okay, YouTube's stupid. Like, I should be able to click on somebody's name and see their their channel. Oh my God, this freaking thing. <sighs> okay, I must be slow. Let me, I. Uh... Wait, no, 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 I messed up. One second, I'm sorry, this is very unprofessional. What the? <laughs> All right, I'm trying to log in. All right, and I'm going to. What the hell? What is going on? What is wrong with this thing? I cannot. Oh, there it goes. Finally silenced that uh, iPad. All right, so there's still an issue here. Notice at the bottom, there's not enough white space, but that would mean I have to fix the other parts of the design, and this is just a, a PNG essentially. But this button itself, a lot better. So let's compare these two. Here's the original. Don't even really, can't even tell there's a, a call to action here because it's so dimmed out. But then we have this over here and now the world is right. Okay. 240 concurrent viewers, a little bit better. All right. Oh my God, it didn't even mute it. It's still going on. Oh God, I hate Apple products. I'm an Android guy. The hell, I mean, you would think if you decrease the volume all the way on the down button, you wouldn't hear sound coming from it anymore. Yet you do. All right. I feel like I'm a little bit more hyper than usual. I've had no caffeine or anything. I don't know. I know, Gavin is, you're, I need to chill out, but I kind of like being a little bit crazy. I think that's what helps increase engagement. If you just act, fucking Christ, this thing. This right here is getting out of my room. I'll be right back. All right, there we go. You know, what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna. I'm gonna take my. Um, I'm gonna take my. Uh, my Nintendo shooting gun. I'm just gonna blast the shit out of that thing. All right. All right. I sound like more, more like a boomer now, or somebody who knows UX design, right? I mean, there's a difference between just aimlessly complaining about things and understanding that things should be a lot more easy to use and make more sense. Apple doesn't have that going, at least in the context of volume down. All right, now let's go. Um, get started. Food anywhere. Next, back, all right. Choose language. Uh, I'll go with English. Eh, I kinda like that. Choose your favorite. Now I understand sometimes when you're designing, uh, Figma doesn't show this actual thing while you're designing, so obviously there's a lack of white space with this little thing up here, but that's not a big deal. What's it doing? Ooh, this is a pretty cool prototype. Um, definitely some type of uh, topography issues right here. Um. How many? How much time do we have left? Uh, about 22 minutes. Not a big deal. Um, um, let's see here. Yeah, th this could definitely be improved. Um, but I do like the colors for the most part. Although I have to say, this little navigation right here, it even works. Cool. Um, while you do want to create an indicator of about which page they're currently on, like where it says all and that's highlighted in that yellow, which is perfectly perfectly fine. This right here, the specials, recipe, et cetera, that, that needs to be improved. Um, so let me just take this real quick because I said I will fix things. I'm not just gonna talk about them. Um, and we're gonna fix that part. There were some other things to fix, but again, I, I wanna get enough of these in so that I'm not just focusing on one. So let's fix this part right here because there's definitely a contrast issue. And there's many ways that we could go about tackling this and styling it. But these other navigation items, as it's designed over here, not enough contrast. Can't really see them very much at all. So what we'll do is um, I'll put one right here. It's gonna say specials. 
we'll go ahead and make that black. Now, of course, we want around the same size or so. Um, I don't know what font that this person's using. Um, we'll just do, we don't wanna bold it in this case, uh, so we'll just go to with regular. All right. And we'll probably scale it down just a little bit. Right around there is good. And do we wanna wrap it in a pill-shaped container? We can. Um, let's see what it looks like without that. Specials, recipe, uh, menu, whatever. So you want equal white space between them, and there is. Now, it looks like these is slightly not aligned with all, the word. Um, but now this is, I. Uh, this alone is better than this, if we look at this. Um, if we wanted to wrap these in pill-shaped containers, we could do that. Let me show you real quick. If that if that's the case, we probably will scale this down just a bit, each one of these. And then we'll take uh, the same concept of the pill-shaped container, and we will hide the fill. We will get our pill shape in here. All right. I, and then maybe we can increase the, the width, but then we would probably want to take down the contrast here. And then just add this next to each one of these. So you, this is the before, can't really see them. This is the after, definitely more usable. All right, next up. Now I think I just did that one. I, I have to make sure, I don't wanna skip people and everybody start crying. Okay, I, let's check this one. Usually I wanna, sh I, I like to load things on the other monitor in case somebody's trying to troll me. Um, no, that's never happened by the way. And please don't use that as a, as a challenge because you know, people could actually. All right, well, Apple, your mute button doesn't, okay, well anyway, all right. You should play Dark Souls Live. What is Dark Souls? I don't, I don't get it. Is that like a, is that a band? Is that a, is that a song? Anyhow, looking at this, big issue here. Uh, the big issue here is just too much white space, at least on this resolution. Now if we come in, we still have too much uh, of empty white space here on the top and bottom. So you need to account for that, or at the very least, put in something that I, you know, like a texture, or take that illustration, put it up here. You I mean, we can sort, you know, with the grid, you don't have to hide that illustration on on, uh, on mobile. You can put it anywhere you want with the CSS grid. That's the beauty of the CSS grid. You can take any element and just, re just put it anywhere. And if it's something that was at the top can now go at the very bottom. Um, so yeah, that's the big thing I would change about this is just, there's just way too much white space. And in fact, let's, I uh, let's do a quick, very quick redesign of this and we're going to fix one thing about it. All right. So let's go over here. No, not there here rather. All right. And then let's uh, go back. Why do I keep on doing that? I would also use a different photograph or illustration rather, um, but I don't have that much time to go to help finding all these different um, illustrations. So let's duplicate that. We're gonna paste this. All right, so first off, look at this lack of white space. <clears throat> That's no good. So we'll take this and we will hide the border. I feel myself calming down now. All right, um, we'll see, I just, 
this is still gonna be better than left over here, but I still just don't like the, um, the, the, the illustration itself doesn't contrast quite enough with the background because the illustration is comprised of just like a slightly off, it's a shaded version of this hue back here. Um, we could use something, we could probably create something much better than this. Um, however, what, one quick fix, I, not enough white space. I could redo all this in, in actual type, but I'm just gonna do this. I'm gonna take this stuff and I'm gonna just scale it down. And ideally this could probably be all centered and spaced out more vertically because we have all this space available to us. But just to show you what this looks like, um, shit, I just moved something I didn't want to. We should lock that. One second, locked, okay, there we go. So now I can move the uh, this. Right click, bring the front, okay. All right, so this compared to this, definitely a, an improvement, but like I said, still a lot more work needs to be done. All right, next up is who? Hi Gary, here's a mobile app I designed a while back. I would love to know what could be improved. All right, let's do it. <laughs> So stupid. Um, all right, what's happening here? We got like a splash screen situation occurring here. Binantia. I just got like this uh, this mental image of like this drug lord or something in like Mexico, and like he's using Financia as like uh, as a backing of his drug operation. That's how stupid I am. Um, um, that's like typical American of me. Um, let's let's start here. Okay, I'm thinking I'm getting strong vibes of Christmas. Now, granted, this person is definitely not native born. I uh, or pro probably does not live in the United States. So we have cultural differences when it comes to color psychology. So that's completely fine. Like if this is made for a different culture and maybe it's not meant for the U.S., um, this would be fine. But for me, I'm just thinking about Christmas, you know, because we got these greens and these vibrant reddish, pinkish kind of sort of colors happen all over the place. So I would probably try to work with a different color scheme. But again, we're talking about different cultures and stuff. So I'm not affluent enough in different cultures because I'm just a simpleton and I never travel anywhere um, to know like if this is fine wherever this person's from. Um, having said that, I would say that this middle section right here. It's just a graphic design, essentially. Um, it, it doesn't. It's, it's not an important element. I I would. And what it's doing is it's pushing things down um, unnecessarily. So, so this is valuable screen real estate that we could use and take this stuff, push it up higher, maybe to right around here. You could still keep the graphic because it's a low contrast element in the background behind this stuff. But this should be moved up um, right around here. And then that way we don't have an unnecessary amount of white space. Also, this week, this uh, month, and this week, this text right here, it's the same issue as the previous one. Even though it's not the currently active element and you want to de-emphasize it compared to all, which is currently active, you still want it to be readable, all right? So you still have to adhere to those, uh, the WCAG 2.0 color contrast guidelines. Um, I think, the fix here was obvious enough, so I don't need to demonstrate it, but move that up. That's the, that's a real simple thing. Otherwise, pretty good design here. I like the logo, um, good stuff. Let's continue on. <laughs> um, next up is, and we're at 50 minutes. Who's texting me? I gotta make sure this isn't like the president or something. Ugh, I don't wanna play doubles tennis. I like singles tennis, one versus one, because I'm not out there trying to stand around, you know. I, I use tennis as a, as a way to try to exercise, and two versus two just sucks. All right, so continuing on. Oh, we got themes, themes, look at this. Woo, I like that color, actually, like that. All right, yet another Matrix client. What the hell is Matrix? Well, what's happening? Matrix.org, an open network for secure decentralized communication. I like the sound of that. 
Yeah, I like that. Because I don't like government and I want my shit to be, you know, secured. Anyhow, Cincy, yet yeah, another Matrix client. All right, so um, looking at this, uh, this is actually pretty solid. Um, trying to get an idea of what I would change. Good primary, secondary call to action here. Now, I'm not sure, like, are themes a part of a Matrix client? If so, it would make sense to have themes here for your website or just to demonstrate it. But if this is just a, a typical website or whatever, um, it wouldn't make sense to have like this big prominent themes feature right here. Just like a dark mode and light mode is fine. Anyways, if, if themes are a part of Matrix, then it makes sense to like show that this is a part of the product um, that you can change your themes around. I, I really like this color, this, this color scheme here. It's like a, a desaturated blue. Um, one of my favorites, that is my favorite essentially. Um, let's continue on looking down here. Good cards. Yeah, these are pretty these are pretty well designed here. You know what I would do if I were you? Possibly these little dots here, these patterns. Make them slightly lighter. Uh, tint it. Tint means add light uh, based on the same hue. I'm not sure if I like it going darker. I think it should go lighter. Anyway. Um, I'm not sure about this 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 pukey color right here. I'm not sure about that. But this is solid. There's not too much really I would change about this. I don't think I would. Maybe the border's unnecessary right here. Um, let's see what it looks like over here. But again, it's so low, low contrast. Low contrast borders are okay. Um, yeah, there's really not much I would change about this. This is pretty solid. Maybe make this this type a tad bit bigger. I don't know why I went like this, whatever that means. <laughs> Some sort of tick or something. I hope I don't start doing that. But this is solid, yeah. I can see that you know you have the logo here. The symbol starts right here on this path, but everything still is aligned with the beginning of the word mark of the logo, so that, that works well. So I don't have anything I would really wanna change. Pretty good. All right, next up. Pukey color again. Sandman, I'm just kidding with you. I actually like the design. Sam, Sam and Ann, I always call it Sandman, like uh, that song. All right, well, anyhow. Um, God, you know what? He must have been listening to me on my last video um, where I talked about six different ways to stylize your your dribble thumbnails because we have a few of them coming uh, that are being featured here. We have the tilt shift. That's one of them that I called. Uh, we got the Photoshop layers because we've we've used drop shadows on things. I uh, Yeah, so this is a cool way if you wanna get more dribble likes to feature your designs rather than just showing the design itself. Um, in terms of design, you know, well, I gotta tilt my head first. I'm looking here, okay. So obviously you wouldn't wanna hand this to your your prospective client and say, what do you think about this? You wanna show them the actual prototype in a browser or the mobile device in which they can use. Um, but still, you can still do this too. It's kind of like, like I said, it's like a, a cover letter of a resume, you know? It's just kind of like a way to just quickly introduce a project or an idea. A lot of people don't like that. They say dribbles like BS because people do that with their projects, but it's just a way to feature things. Um, it's not meant to be, it's not, this isn't what you're meant to hand <laughs> to, to your client and that's it. Uh, in terms of design, this all looks good um, in my opinion. Yeah, looks good. Way to go, Sam Nan. All right, let's continue on. I just made it for practice, but I think there's still some mistakes in it. We are at 54 minutes. I'm going to do one more, and I'm gonna do the guy who gave me $10. Um, so we're gonna do that, because I promised. Why does his water sound like ice? Because there's ice in the water. It's very amazing. It's a modern marvel, really. Um, ever since like refrigeration and freezerizing. It's not a word, but whatever. Um, wait, what are you, wait, wait, wait a second. I just, I saw this one, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Why are we doing that one again? 
Why are you spamming? Wait. I don't understand what's happening. I just lost my space completely. It's my portfolio. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, your portfolio cannot be found. I miss somebody's. Rohit? Rohit? Where's, where's Rohit? At 8.15, you said right here. Okay, this person's gonna be second to last because I missed it. All right. All righty then. I design and develop websites. Boring. It's very boring. You need to get better headline, better head ad, ad copy, as it's called. You know, the fact that you design and develop websites is a feature about you. I've talked about this many times before. It's a feature about you, uh, but people don't give a crap about features. Let me give you an example. Whenever you see commercials on TV from major corporations who just have so much uh, resources to, to hire um, people who know marketing and know what people want. Do they ever talk about features much? No. Uh, for instance, like in the United States, we have car commercials for, for insurance, insurance companies, or even just car, car commercials for new cars. They never sit there talking about, uh, like for instance, uh, Geico commercials. Like if you, don't, if you know Geico, they're all just jokes. Like they have very little to do with about the features of their business, like or a car car commercial. They never talk about all the specs of their transmission and freaking everything else about their car. They're talking about stuff like when you drive our car, you're gonna feel like you're on a mountain. Like it's it's all about benefits. So don't talk about the features of yourself in your headline. You, there's certainly justification for going into the details about you and all this stuff but for your headline we focus on benefits so that's going to be my number one thing about improving this which is a ux thing or i'm um, an ad copy thing i uh, think about more unique and um interesting headline ad copy um also this picture get rid of it um it's just kind of strange um, you don't contrast well with this green, so it's like kind of weird. And then you're glowing, and I'm immediately thinking of the Ghostbusters because you're glow you're glowing green. Um, what is the Ghostbusters logo? Ghostbusters logo, because uh, I know they have a logo. Images. Um, yeah, like look at this. It's a circle with this glow around it, and then we're gonna look at his. And there's like a circle with a glow around it. And I'm thinking about the Ghostbusters and if this this person might be a good fit for the next Ghostbusters role or something like that. So um, I would change that and think of something else here. Um, taking a look at the rest of the stuff. I think I've spent enough just talking about the one thing I would change, which is just the ad copy Sunday design thing. I think we've we've nailed this one pretty good. So, all right, um, the person who gave me $10, 10 whole US dollars, is named Maverick, C-E-R, in the Discord server. Gonna search for that person. Dude, just called him a Ghostbuster. That's not meant to be like offensive or anything. I don't mean it to be offensive. I'm just joking around, of course. Oh my God. This is interesting. It's not even a submission. I'm scared because it's there's not a link. There's not a design. Uh, it's just text asking me about something, putting me on the spot. All right, let me try to earn my money for my $10. Gary shows us some examples of different dribble formats, but I love a video that shows us how to make the cover art. He mentioned that Photoshop is used but what about those of us who aren't familiar with it? I love to showcase some of my front ends in a similar way. So I think what Maverick is talking about, if we go to Dribble, um, let's see here. Let's go to the web design section. So, okay, it depends on which one we're talking about because in my previous video, let's get that out. 
Um, six ways to stylize your projects on Dribble. So I, I put little time things. The plain Jane. So the plain Jane, of course, this is just showing uh, your, let me make this maximize. This is just showing your design itself, right? Like you're not doing anything special with the thumbnail or the cover of your your uh, your design. You're just showing it completely full up, full scale. Um, so obviously you don't need to know any special Photoshop stuff for that. The next one is called white space. And this is probably the most popular. It's just where people take their design, they might put it in a little fictional browser or something, but they're just giving a little bit of white space around the edges of the actual thumbnail itself. Here's another example. I Wait, that's not an example. Oh, I screwed up my um, my timestamps. I, I didn't put a timestamp here. Um, the next one is called the Photoshop layers. So that's where we simply take like either a whole screen, I. Uh, of your whole page of your design. Maybe you have two of them like this one and then you emphasize one over the other by kind of like lifting it up and creating a, a separation by creating a, um, a background. You can completely do that um, within normal UI tools like uh, Figma and Photoshop. Or not Figma, <laughs> Photoshop. That's not a modern UI tool. I meant Figma and Adobe XD. Like you can completely do this easily. I don't think I have to show you how to do that. I think I will do one of these where I combine multiple, multiple, and then we'll conclude the live stream. Um, you can also do it with individual components, like this person's done. Like, where do these cards go? Th these cards aren't even a part of this design. They're just kind of off, flying off to the side of the design. It's just a different way to show components that are a part of your design. There's nothing wrong with it. Um, and so, there's also one called. Let's see here. Like this one, I mean, you can skew your designs. I don't particularly like that one, but this is called the tilt shift, as I call it, where you're just kind of rotating things. I mean, I think you could still do all this stuff in Figma, not necessarily Photoshop even. Um, so I don't know if I even said that you need Photoshop for some of these. Um, like, let's see, the chaos. So there was a few here that are kind of crazy, but really, I mean, it's, I'll try to do one real quick. Like look like look at this one. All this is just a series of drop shadows and things layered on top of each other. So let's let's go in and um, maybe I'll use the very first submission because that was a good one as a basis of this. The very first submission that um, I did, why are my video suggestions on the wrong damn channel? Um, right here. This was a good design. Uh, for the most part that I saw. Um, so let's create like a dribble cover art thumbnail thingy based on this detail. Okay, get out of the fucking way here. One, one second here. My toolbar keeps on not allowing me to restructure this. So let's uh, let's make a, a dribble and let's just do it in like Adobe XD. You could do this in um, other things as well. Um, let's go to, yeah, you could do this in, in Figma, whatever. Here's all our previous ones we did, our design refactors. Um, now, first of all, what you're going to want to find out probably is what the upload dimensions of Dribble are. I hardly, I, I don't, I don't really, I haven't uploaded anything in a million years. Um, and so I'm not sure what the Dribble dimensions are. Dribble cover art or whatever uh, dimensions. You're gonna wanna know what those are. Images are on Dribbble are limited in size to, okay, this might be an old, yes it is. This is from November 2013. It, Google is not smart sometimes because I know that is not right, 400 by 300. That, that's what it used to be. Um, trying to wonder, it's probably, they probably don't constrain you. Let's just assume, you know, like if I hit upload, maybe it'll, it'll tell me there. Um, high re resolution images, 1600 by 1200. Okay, so that's something to consider, 1600 by 1200. So um, let's create a new um, thingy. Uh, let's come over here. I don't want that to happen. That's a, one of those annoying things about there.
All right, so this is my 1600 by 1200. Now, what I wouldn't do for this design, I wouldn't use the plain Jane method, you know? Because watch what ends up happening. It's just like, this is a boring thumbnail uh, in the context of like, you know, when you're uploading on Dribbble, you're competing with other people. Uh, you're hoping people see your design, but you're, you see other thumbnails right next to it. So you wanna try to stand out um, as much as possible. So this would be the very plain Jane method. We could uh, take this down and we'll do the white space method. Now we'll take the background. Maybe we'll use like a, a color here. This could work. It's not exactly uh, even. There's a little bit too much white space here, but you, you get the point. Um, you could also stick within the same hue, but you can change the tone uh, or the tint or the, um, like we can go lighter. We can go a lot lighter. Like look at this. You could do that too. Let's go back to that original, like the dark one, just to show, you know, give it different looks. So you could do this. Um, we could, what else could we do? Okay, we got the tilt shift idea. All right, so let me go back to his design because I know there was some other design a part of this. All right, uh, let's copy this. I'm not sure how I'm gonna get this to work, but we'll figure it out possibly, or I'll just fail. Oh, let's do the Photoshop layers idea. So we can take this one here. Maybe we'll push this down. We'll bring this to uh, the front. Bring to front. And you wanna scale it just so they can see enough of other stuff. And you have to play around with it a little bit. Now we can do the drop shadow. Why? will be like negative 23, negative 23. I don't know, we'll, we'll see how this works. Blur is gonna be up. Oh, positive, there we go. Not sure if I necessarily like this one. Something like that you could do. Now what about also like doing the whole tilt shift thing? Oh, look at that. Well, let me get one more screen in here. Shoot, where is it at? Let me make this taller. Yeah, what's up? I'm live streaming. Okay, come in. Bye. What the hell is she doing? Yeah, what's up? Mom, that's my mom. It's Grandma Joan. Dad. Yeah. Me and Ava want to have a play date today. You and Ava want to have a play date. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> she said she'll give me a back massage. All right, uh, so the tilt shift. I'll talk about it in a second, I'm almost done. I uh, Look at that, look how freaking cool this looks. We got some layered things happening here. I uh, Look at all this. And so then what you could do, um, I'm not sure like, can you export this? Yeah, so you can export this, you could screenshot of the screenshot tool or whatever, you know, and then just upload it. There you go. So we got this, this is your actual design. This is what you show the client, you allow them to use. But then to pre present it, like if you try to, if you have a portfolio, these are all the different ways you can kind of show different aspects of the design. And there we go. All right. All right, very cool. I think that was a productive, longer than usual stream by about 10 minutes. Um, we got there our drill out. I think we helped some people. And yeah, 
257 people watching. That's pretty good. Um, now, some shameless plugs here before I conclude. We uh, are going to be releasing the pre-launch of designcourse.com very soon. Um, my coder and partner, JVS, is hopefully working on it now. We have some things that we need to do before it's ready. Enter your email if you haven't to be notified. Not notified notified uh, when it releases. We have about 13,000. Actually, let me see. Uh, I want to show you how many people we have who've entered their email on that landing page. It's pretty crazy. It's been there almost a year though, so I mean, uh, it's pretty crazy. Uh, here we go. Um, look at this: thirteen thousand six hundred thirty-two people have entered their email. So we, it's going to be a big launch. I'm very excited about this. We're hoping to have it by the beginning of September, a pre-launch, meaning it's not hundred percent done yet. Um, but you'll get access to the course as I'm building it. It's about 40% complete, and I'm gonna be actively working on uh, finishing that up, and you'll get a discount for being a part of the one week pre-launch. Um, and then a couple months after, the whole thing should be finished, and then you could also join at that time if you wish. But to be really cool, you need to actually join soon uh, and do the pre-launch thing. <laughs> uh, and then we also have the game coming out. Um, that's going to come out around at the same time. I'm not sure if it's going to be slightly before, during, or after it. No, it's not, definitely not going to be after it. But uh, you can actually play the game right now. So if you go to beta.designcourse, oh wait, no, it's designcourse.com. I'll, I'll paste the link here. You can actually play the game. We're gonna be making adjustments to this, but these are all the game things that you can play. I, I'm i not gonna explain it, but it's just to help you develop an eye for UI design. That will be releasing. And then of course, I, if I go to YouTube here, I we go to, actually, let me show you guys something. It's a little preview. I did a test video, I did a test video of, um, how I want the aesthetic to look in the upcoming series. Um, so let me show you guys that real quick. Uh, if I go to YouTube, I'm gonna go to my channel off screen real quick because I'm gonna go to my YouTube studio. It is ridiculous. I'm gonna put the, the link here. It's an unlisted video that I uploaded. Um, let's go to content. <laughs> it's, it's gonna be much better than this, but you're gonna get a feel for the VHS effect and stuff like that. Um, and, the, and the fact that I'm gonna be carrying on a conversation with a computer character. Um, so <laughs> as weird as that sounds. Let me find, oh, here it is. I'm gonna paste the link here. Oh crap, I don't want that to happen. Back. Anyhow, you guys can watch that video. It's a little fun video, um, but yeah, it's, it's just gonna be a series with episodes that kind of teaches UI design in a fun and interesting, unique way. And yeah, I will, I will. that is it. I'm, I'm going to be heading out now. People are messaging me and stuff. And I will see you all very soon. Let me know your thoughts about this, by the way. I'll leave up the chat for a little bit, but I'm gonna go ahead and just, End the stream though. Goodbye. Oh, and thanks for that super chat.